What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're in the garage doing a little boat project. I say project, but this barely qualifies as a project. It's a, it's a small project. We are going to be installing the Mercury Vessel View on our Mercury 150 Pro XS. Um, this is a super cool upgrade that you can do on your motor. Um, any Mercury older than 2003 and higher than 40 horsepower. Uh, this is compatible with It's a pretty simple project. You'll see there's only a couple steps. It's really easy There's only like I don't even know if there's any tools involved. You might not need any tools. So it's nice and easy It'll be super cool. The vessel view does a lot of cool stuff for you um, It connects to your phone via Bluetooth. There's an app you can you know read the hours um, Read all kinds of engine information. It's kind of like taking your engine into the dealer to a shop uh, but you don't have to take it there and let them read it. They can view everything. You can view everything on your phone. Uh, so it's a super cool upgrade. It's, it's not cheap. It's like 250 bucks, but it's a good investment. If you plan on having your boat for a while, um, I figure, you know, I don't plan on selling this boat anytime soon. So it's a good investment to have to keep track of your motor, make sure you're doing your maintenance on time and warn you if anything's going wrong, you can keep track of uh, fuel usage. And, you know, if anything changes, you might know you gotta, you know, check something out. So it's a super cool upgrade. Uh, follow me along here. It's going to take a couple minutes. We'll get it set up, show you what it looks like. Let's do it. And by the way, we are smack dab in the middle of summer. It's a hot one. I think weather forecast today was about 97 million degrees. So we're here out in the garage, big metal building. So it's probably more like 98 million degrees. So sorry if I'm sweating profusely through this whole thing. All right, so here's the Mercury vessel view. This is it. This is all you need. Let's show you what it looks like here. So it comes with some instructions, a couple zip ties, and the unit itself here. There's a unit and then a couple different plugs. We're only going to be using one of these plugs, so I'll show you that in a minute. And the only tool that you're gonna need today is a wire snipper here probably to cut the end of our zip ties. That's it, not too bad. So of course, our first step, we're gonna take off our motor cowling. Release it right there. I always get surprised how heavy that thing is. All right, so we're gonna locate this terminal right here. It does say terminator on this little uh, cap. We're gonna push in this weather cap connector and pull that off. Now we're gonna take our vessel view and I'll just tuck this over here for a second. Now it's got two terminals on here. One that's kind of in the main line here. You see how this one's kind of jutting off. They want you to connect this one in the main line into where we just opened up. Just gonna press it in firmly. So you hear it click. And that's it. I mean, that's, that's the hardest part of the job. Uh, what we'll do next is zip tie this out of the way, get this extra out of the way. And then what we'll do is we'll use this hole and right around this tube and we will zip tie this in place right here so it's nice and secure and it'll be out of the way and then we'll fire up the app and see if we can get it connected Make that loose for now Not gonna go crazy tight on the zip ties, just enough so that it doesn't wiggle around. And as promised, the only tool you'll need 
something to clip the end of these. And that's it, job done. Okay, we are secure with some zip ties here. However, one last step. I almost forgot this. This secondary connector that comes off of here, you're actually gonna wanna take off this cover and you wanna replace the terminal that was on the original piece here. This isn't just a weather cap. You need this on here to, for it to function. So what we're gonna do is this Y connector that comes off, we're gonna plug the terminal piece into there nice and snug. And then we can tuck this back down underneath. That's important. It's not gonna work if you don't have that plugged in there. An important note here, you do have to have your key in the ignition and flipped to on or run. Obviously don't start the motor unless you have it connected to a water supply, but it has to at least be in the run position to get power to the vessel view mobile. All right, so now we're gonna go to our app store. And we're gonna look up Mercury Vessel View Mobile. We're gonna download that. Hopefully it works well with limited service in the garage. Okay, and when you open the app, it's going to ask if you would like it to use Bluetooth. You say allow. You have to agree to their policy. I'll allow it while using the app. Okay, so we're going to open our Vesselview mobile app. I'm going to skip the login and sign up for now, but you'll probably want to do that. And then we're going to click the little profile button up here. And you're going to add a boat. It's going to find your vessel view and it's going to connect. Okay, there we go. It's connected. Let's see our profile that we named there. It'll read your RPM, your miles per hour, gallons per minute. Lots of good performance and maintenance logs available. And that's it guys. It's that simple to get a nice upgrade on your Mercury outboard. Keep track of maintenance, keep track of performance, uh, diagnose anything that might be going on. So I'd say it's worth it. It's a little bit of investment, but it should be uh, worth it long term. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Put any comments or questions you have for me in the comments. We'll catch you on the next one.